So we're given M is negative three fifths and B is four and it says graph the line. Okay, so we're gonna do it on a grid paper. There's two ways of doing it. You could get the Y intercept and you could do the rise over the run and make more points and draw a line through it. And you're welcome to do that. I'm gonna do it both ways. I'm, all, I'm gonna make a little equation and a table and I'm gonna plot the points and then I'm gonna do the rise over the run thing at the end as well, all right? Just to beat this to death so we all understand and you're gonna do it both ways. So, so I want everyone to write down Y equals MX plus B. That's the standard form of our linear equation. The output equals the slope times the input plus the y-intercept, right? So we replace m with the number negative three-fifths and we write down negative three-fifths times x plus four, plus four, right? Got that? And then we do a little table and we plug in some points for x. All right, so do your table. And everybody's favorite number, to, so when we plug numbers in for X, we just make them up, right? And everybody's favorite number to plug in for X is? Zero. Zero, and it's a very important one because that's where it hits the Y axis. Because when X is zero, that's where it hits the Y axis, right? Right. So just because it's easy, it's easy doesn't mean it's not important. <laughs> so negative three fifths times zero plus four. Mm. And anything times zero is just zero, right? So that's just zero plus four, right? Which is? Four. You got it. And we can make a little uh, point there. So X is zero, Y is four, right? Okay. Um, and now uh, let's go ahead and graph that point. Plot that point on the, on the grid there. Where is that? Yep, you got it. X is zero. Y is four. Right there. X is zero, Y is four. Yep. In fact, uh, let me... Zero, four. Right? Now, um, I might pl pl plug in some more X values uh, just to get some more Y's. Now I could plug in something like one, but it's gonna leave me with fractions. Cause watch, I'll get negative three fifths times one plus four, which is basically negative three fifths plus four, which is, you know, um, now four minus three fifths, by the way, is, is three and five fifths minus three fifths, which is three and two fifths. So this leaves me with the point x is 1 and y is 3 and 2 fifths, right? So like that's kind of hard to find on the grid. 1, where's like 3 and 2 fifths? My golly, that's a hard one to find on the grid, isn't it? Yeah. So that's why when we've got uh, fractions, when we're multiplying by fractions, we want to be careful what we multiply the fraction by. See, it's, it's 3 over 5. So can anyone just think about what type of numbers would be cool to plug in for X? Fun to actually plug into our X, or I would actually get nice numbers, like whole numbers, right? Or integers rather. Three would be a good one. Uh, three, well, we've got five on the bottom this time. Oh. Right. So, so, what, so we got five on the bottom we should multiply by multiples of five. Yes. So for example, five, another multiple of five would be 10. What else? 15, 15 or 20, neg 25. 20, 25, or maybe a negative five or whatever, right? 
Exactly. So, let's plug in 5. Negative 3 fifths times 5 plus 4. Okay. Yes, they do cross cancel good. We could also do 5 over 1. And I, I'm going to do it both ways. So, so some students like to multiply it across before they cross cancel, which is not the simplest way, but let's do it anyway. Negative 3 times 5 gives negative 15 over 5 times 1, which is 5 plus 4, right? Now, negative 15 over 5 is negative 3, uh, a negative 3 plus 4, right? Which gives... Negative 3 plus 4 would give 1. Lovely. And so we have the point x is 5, y is 1. And as you were saying, we could have cross cancelled here. 5 and a 5 goes once here and here. And now we just have negative 3 times 1 over 1, which is just negative 3. So we could, if we cross cancel, we would have skipped this step. But that's okay. Either way, you should get 1 at the end, right? Right. Um, and just for fun, just, and so let's go ahead and graph that point, by the way. 5, 1. x is 5, y is 1. Lovely. Beautiful. Yep. There it is. Uh, and just to beat to death, I'm going to do one more real quick. Negative 3 over 5 times 10 plus 4, which is negative uh, 30 over 5, by golly, if you were to multiply it. But you should have simplified. Um, <laughs> that's negative 6 plus 4, which is a negative 2. And again, if we cross cancel, 5 into 5 would go, have gone once, and 5 into 10 would have gone twice, and negative 3 times 2 would just be negative 6. But in any case, it should all work out to be negative 2. And so we would have this point 10, negative 2. And then on the grid, we can plot x is 10, y is negative 2, and that's there. 10, negative 2. There we go. And now we can draw a line through those points. And that's our line. Okay. And that's the answer. That's the that's the uh, graph, right? So, so this is kind of like a long way. We made a table and we're beating it to death and all that. Um, I'd also like everyone to go over the rise over the run bit. So um, the rise, so M is negative three fifths. So I want you all to write down rise over run equals. And I want that, this could be written by the way, like a negative three over five or a three over negative five, either way. I want you to write it this way because I want the, the run to be positive because you always go from left to right. And so I want you to write negative three fifths as negative three on the top and five on the bottom. Can we all do that? Okay, so that's the trick because what I want to see is that what, what, what now would our run be and what would our rise be? The run you would come over five. Yep. And the rise you would come down to negative three. Down three. Beautiful. And the Y intercept, the B, is four. Correct? Right. So that means... So if we were... If we didn't do a table, which we did, but either way, the other way of doing it would be to go... Find the y, first of all, find where it hits the y-axis, where the line intercepts, intercepts the y-axis like a, like a missile or something, intercepts. Um, anyway, so the y-intercept is at 4, so where is that? So it would be on, up here on the dot where the 4 is. Perfect. And then we're going to run 5 and rise negative 3. So let's start by running 5. We go across we run like run across the road run one two three four five and then stop so as we we run five we run five and then we're going to rise negative three so rise means usually go up now if your rise is negative it means go down down, down one two three down three right and then we're going to run 
Again, one, one, two, three, four, five. Run five and stop. And then we're going to rise negative three, which means go down three. One, two, three. And we get this point, right? So we can get the points that way as well with our little stairs here, right? Right. Yep. And then we can draw a line through it. So we've beaten this to death because we did the rise over the run, the y-intercept, and we made a table. And we talked about missiles. I'm sorry, we what? We talked about missiles. Well, I did anyway. That I shouldn't have. All right, good deal.